A major victory tonight for supporters of Mexican American studies in this landmark ruling approving TUSD's unitary status plan. A federal court paves the way for MOS style courses in TUSD schools, arguing the explosive educational method does indeed have a positive effect on our students. Maggie Vespa breaks it all down in this decision. It's tonight's Not on Your Side Education Watch. They have made a lot of us feel really unimportant and dehumanized. It was a battle that divided TUSD. I'm seriously disgusted by those, you know, who um, have failed their students, their community. Now, more than a year after the district disbanded the controversial curriculum to keep in line with a custom made state statute, Mexican American Studies gets a historic second wind. In this 40 page ruling released today, the U.S. District Court in Tucson approves TUSD's unitary status plan. It's the district's answer to a federal mandate to desegregate area schools. One key component calls for culturally relevant core courses. This time around, the ruling points out core does not mean required, but simply one that quote will satisfy requirements for graduation. It does not mean that all students must take the course and concerning contributions in the classroom. The court argues these classes quote encourage and strengthen their meaning students participation and success and allow them to improve their education outcomes. Here it cites evidence from two outside studies that show, quote, students who took MOS courses were more likely to graduate from high school on time and to pass state achievement tests than similarly situated peers. But this does not mean MOS is forever out of the academic or political woods. First, the court calls for more research that will, quote, make the next round of reports more meaningful and more determinative. Second, it requires these courses are crafted and implemented in line with existing laws, reading only then will the state be in any position to determine whether the culturally relevant courses developed pursuant to the USP violate state law. But overall, to the state's objection to the district's attempt at bringing back moss style courses, the ruling reads there is no manifest injustice caused by this court's denial of intervention. And according to that unitary status plan, which in its entirety is a four year deal, TUSD will begin offering those courses at the beginning of the 2013 2014 school year. Jennifer. Maggie, at one point, the school board was planning to include its own objection to the Moss style courses. Whatever happened to that? That's true. That objection was approved by the old TUSD board, two of whom were voted out in the November election. And last month, this newly seated group of board members actually removed that objection. All right, Maggie, thanks.